So here's something we get asked a lot about in SOLIDWORKS, about the ability to provide exported files to, uh, to end users or to customers, but maybe the, uh, the designer doesn't want to reveal the full level of detail on this model. So what we have here is a SOLIDWORKS assembly, and uh, this assembly has some internal components as you can see here. But um, when we want to export this model either as a step or an IGES file, we want it to be a single file that, that gets imported and created. Uh, and we want to limit some of the level of detail. And the way we can do this is by choosing File, Save As, and we will first save this assembly as a part file. So you may not have known this, but you can save a SOLIDWORKS assembly as a part file. However, there are three options you want to be acquainted with. First option is exterior faces. If you choose exterior faces, the resulting part model will be a surface body only, and it will be just the exterior faces of your assembly. So think of that as if you were to put a shrink wrap around the part. You're basically just creating a bubble, a surface model representation of the exterior of that assembly. The second option is exterior components. This is probably the one that gets used the most. When you save as exterior components, the model is created as a single part file, although it may be a multi-body part file, but only the exterior visible components are saved into that part file. So this is a great way to not only to simplify your model, but to preserve any proprietary internal details. Finally, the last option, all components, does just as it implies. It saves a multi-body part where every component becomes a separate body. I'll choose the exterior components option and specify a name for my newly created part file. Once that saves, I'll open my newly created part file and let's have a look at what that looks like in SOLIDWORKS. We'll say no to feature recognition and you can see now that our part file is indeed a multi-body part file and only the exterior visible components are included in this file. At this point, I can do a file save as and I can export this into a neutral format such as STEP, IGES, or Parasolid. Here I'll choose the STEP option. I'll save my STEP file. And now I'll go through the procedure of what the end user or recipient of this file would, would see. They'll go to File Open. They'll browse to their STEP file and open that up. And you can see now that this comes in just as a single part file as opposed to exporting an assembly. So it, it, it is finally just a single multi-body part file and all of the interior detail is missing. Only the exterior visible components show up in that design. So that's a great way that you can limit the amount of information that you provide when you export your SOLIDWORKS models.